pushing boundaries. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Hong, Kong Polit Hong Kong Polytechnic University uh, Material Resource Center, man, to invite me to come for a presentation today. I'm so honored because being a uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong uh, Polytechnic Design alumni, you know, I was such an honor okay, to come for a presentation today. Uh, I, today, I would like to uh, Okay, first of all, okay, I would like to introduce my uh, more a bit myself. Okay, currently I'm working at, at the at the Walmart company as, as the fashion and marketing project manager. So you can see the QR code here. Okay, please scan it. Okay, and then you will get keep in touch. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, what we have, what we are doing right now. Okay, all all the information about the Walmart company will get informed very soon. Okay, so and also you get my contact, also my email. Okay, feel free to join to email me to text me anytime. Okay, anything about the Wu Trend, about the Walmart company. Okay, so regarding the agenda today, okay, for, uh, today we will cover uh, the topic about the, the very brief introduction about the Walmart company and also what is Wu, why Wu, the manufacturing Wu, processing innovation. Okay, I would like to introduce some of our partners, okay, especially in the marketing as well. And I will talk very briefly about what uh, we got a very new online center, okay, which is education center, which is called Walmart Learning Center, free of charge, okay. So I hope everyone can learn a lot of things, okay, based on this new online platform. And also I will talk a bit about our very new competition, which is called the Walmart Performance Challenge, okay. So, and then after this one, okay, we got a Q and A, okay. Any question, okay, you can, you can inbox me, okay. I will, I will, I will spare some time to answer your question, you know, after my presentation. Okay, first of all, about the Walmart company. Okay, so we are the subsidiary of Australian Wool Innovation. Okay, normally we call AWI. Okay, we are from, we are from the headquarter of Sydney. Uh, uh, Australian, okay, Australian company. Okay, we are the global authority on marina wool. So we we got to support more than sixty thousand Australian wool growers. And also, what we do is to build awareness and also promote the unique uh, quality of very natural and also very fine, one of the finest fiber, okay, in the world. Okay, mainly for apparel production. Okay, as I said, okay, we got. Uh, more than 60,000 Australian wool growers, okay, which produce uh, more than 81% of the world's super fine apparel wool as part of Australia's 4.16 billion in Australian dollar, okay, for the wool export industry. Okay, a bit about our logo and also our branding, okay. So we founded, okay, the, the International Wool Secretariat, okay, in 19... 1937. Uh, in 1964, okay, we create this very iconic logo okay, by a very famous Italian graphic artist, Francesco. So I'm sure a lot of people see this logo, okay, okay, uh, in the time of a lot of garments, sweater, okay. I can I can say, okay, this is one of the world best loans textile symbol, okay, and also stand for the, the flagship brand of the Walmart company. Okay, so when, whenever you see this logo, okay, it, it tells you, okay, to identify the premium quality and also very specific attribute of merino wool. Used in apparel, interior, te interior textile, bedding, apparel care products, a lot, a lot, etc. Okay, so, uh, so this is more about, okay, our company, uh, Walmart logo. So we, we use Adom's more than 5 billion wool product, okay, using our Walmart logo. So as I said, it stands for very good quality, okay, in terms of performance, comfort as well, okay. So which, when, whenever you, you see this logo, pure new wool logo, it stands for very rigorous independent testing, a very trustworthy quality. And also a little more brand, okay, such as, as I said before, in terms of like apparel, not only apparel, also uh, uh, productive wear, sports wear, men's wear, uh, bedding, you know, all kind of interior 
uh, material, okay, using merino wool fiber. And also we got another two logo, okay, the wood, wood, wool, wool brand, uh, wood, wool, which brand, and also wool, which uh, performer, okay, stand for different quantity, okay. Like this one, okay, around 50%, okay, this one is a lot smaller than 30% in merino wool. Okay, so before I start, I would like to show you a video, okay, a very beautiful landscape, okay, in, in Australia. Wool survives the toughest tests, and then we test it rigorously, again and again. So when you see the Walmart logo, you can trust the garment has reached the highest possible standards. Wool. Tested by nature, tested by us. Okay, so a bit more about uh, our company, okay? So the Wuma brand represents a commitment between wool growers, brands, and consumer on the authenticity and quality of the fiber that connect us, okay, which is marine wool fiber. Okay, we are, uh, regarding the environment, the people, animal, and also the product, okay, they are very important to me, uh, to, uh, to our company. And also you can see the whole value chain of the Wuma company, okay, from land management, animal welfare, uh, uh, science research, and also uh, uh, legislation, supply chain, retail, consumer, okay, you can see, okay, our, our work, okay, like this one, okay, the animal welfare, you can see, okay, more than 72.4 million, okay, in the West, to make sure, okay, as I said, okay, make sure the ship, the, the animal, very happy, very healthy, okay, in the farm, okay. And also because of the pandemic, okay, the COVID-19, okay, so being the global authority on wool, okay, we have a very strong vision and also the implementation of the environment, uh, the environmental benefit and also op opportunity for wool. Okay, we, we believe, okay, we can be a very, very important catalyst, okay, for the change around the social and environmental issue, okay, which align with our brand. So that's why, okay, for me, okay, besides the wood trend, okay, so we talk a lot, okay, about the sustainability, okay, of how good, okay, how wonderful the merino wool fiber is. Okay, like, uh, okay, like the merino wool fiber, okay, they are 100% natural, renewable, and also bio biodegradable. I will talk more about this, okay, in my presentation later. Okay, so that's why I make, uh, wool, okay, has like, like he, as an environmentally positive choice. So that's why more consumer, okay, they are getting more anxiety over the climate change and also desire for complete transparency. Okay, so that's why challenge a lot of brand to rethink, okay, their approach to business and also best practice. So that's why, okay, this is very important, okay, for, for us, okay, to introduce the merino fiber to let them understand how 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 good okay the merino merino wool fiber okay to to the armor okay also we support the a lot of movement toward a very sustainable fashion industry okay so this is what we do so in in addition we hope to inspire a very good way across the whole supply chain from ship to to shop okay and finally okay to the end consumer. Okay, so you can see we, we, have, we do a lot of things, okay? We collaborate with a lot of designers, a lot of brands, okay? They are like-minded, okay? Also, okay, like this one, you can see one of our resource center, okay, in Hong Kong. Okay, we hope we can connect, okay, a lot of designer brands to all our supply, uh, uh, the, whole, the whole supply chain. We hope to inspire them, to educate them. It, educate them. Okay, let me show you a very video, okay? So you can understand. You can see more about you know our world, our wool resource center, okay, in Hong Kong. Okay, we got a video here.
Okay, so also, okay, we make, like what I said, we make sure very good quality guarantee, okay, using the Walmart logo. Uh, we have a very new, okay, sourcing support, okay, a, a very new portal, okay. So like this one, okay, we just call the Wood Lab, okay, a very important seasonal guide, okay, to the best innovation, okay, in wool, okay, sourced for more than 100 of the world's best spinner, weaver in a global supply network. Okay, so, and also we got a lot of innovation, training, education, and also we got a lot of marketing event, okay, as, as you see in this video, okay, you can see uh, one of the designer Ram Simon, okay, we, which developed a very beautiful capsule collection, okay, with us, okay, uh, years ago. And also we, what is our, our consumer, our audience, okay, they are not only in the trade, and also in education, in wool growing, of course, very important to our consumer, okay, from Generation Z, millennial to even to the silver spenders, okay? Okay, uh, this one, I would like to show you, okay, our international level. Okay, as I said, okay, we are the, we are, we are a uh, Australian company. So that's why our headquarters and also our, our resource center in Sydney. And also we got another one, another resource center in Hong Kong. And, and in the five years, okay, you can see we got a lot of office in Sydney, in, in Beijing, in Tokyo, in Seoul, uh, in, in, in New Delhi, India. And also we got a lot of office in, in, in Europe as well. Okay, like in Turkey, um, uh, Italy, France, uh, German, uh, and also we got two offices, okay, in, in America, one in New York and one in the West Coast. So that's why you can see, okay, uh, we hope, okay, based on our work, okay, we can increase, okay, the, the demand for uh, for wool, okay. So you can see, based on this one, you can see uh, what what's our job, okay, from wool growing, shearing, testing, selling. Uh, blending, scouring, top making, spinning, knitting, garment making, and also retailing. Finally, okay, to the consumer, you can see it, all our work, okay, you can see it, okay, in the whole supply chain. Okay, so, so uh, uh, I would like to show you another video, video about discovering the Walmart's communist network, okay, and also you can see more information about what we do. So this is amazing, yeah. So you can see we, 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 we do a lot of things. Oh, okay, so and then I will, I will go to another topic, okay, which is about what is wool. Okay, I make it very quick, okay, we got two kinds of wool. Uh, but mostly, okay, we got the wool and also we got the virgin wool, okay. Uh, wool is a fiber form shape and also from lamb fleece. Okay, so they got some kind of protein molecule which is called keratin, are very similar to human hair. And also we got another one, which is the virgin wool. Okay, the W is, that is the abbreviation of virgin wool. Okay, this is a kind of uh, a fiber, okay, which has not previously been incorporated in, in a finished product or, 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 or not 
been subjected to any spinning or felting process. Okay, so that's why we, this is called the uh, virgin wool. Okay, as I said before, wool is very natural, we, uh, uh, renewable, and also because for wool or for sheep, it's very easy. Okay, they just consume uh, water, grass, and air. That's it. Okay, and then the renewable, it means that, okay, every year, okay, they will produce the new fleece. Okay, like a human hair. Okay, just cut it. Okay, share, and then we got the uh, we got this amazing fiber, and also this is wood is biodegradable. It can decompose in a matter of months or years under ideal condition. Release a lot of very valuable nutrient back into the soil. Okay, it's acting as a fertilizer. So when compared to synthetic fiber, okay, which is uh, extremely low, okay, to degrade. So that's why. Uh, as I said, okay, wool is very natural. Okay, so you can also a bit you can you can compare. Okay, uh, there are more than thousand uh, breeds of uh, sheep. Okay, this is the one. Okay, we are we are working, which is called the merino. Okay, different breed, different shape, have different uh, quality of wool fiber. Yeah. Okay, and okay, so uh, you can also compare with other fiber. Okay, you got the drop wool, the fine wool. Alpaca and cashmere, okay, you can see the scale, okay, like a human hair. So you can see wool have different kind of uh, thickness from very broad to very fine, okay. But when compared, okay, uh, uh, fine wool, okay, is six times finer than human hair, okay, so and also very close to cashmere, okay. So silk, linen, cotton also also natural fiber, okay, but they are, silk is from, from silk, okay, from the lava of the, 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 the silk warm, and also linen and cotton is a, from, is, a, is a plant fiber. So that's why there's no scales. And polyester is synthetic, okay, so that's why it is, this is very glossy, very shiny, okay, like it's like a pasta to me all the time. Okay, you can you can compare this one. Okay, you know the the merino wool type. Okay, from very fine, ultra fine, super fine to very strong. Okay, different different quality, different type of for different uses. Okay, like ultra fine is and super fine and fine is very good for making car uh, clothing. For the very strong one, it may be for for carpet making, furniture design. Okay, so why wool? Okay, well, let's let's go to another topic. Okay, before I start, okay, let me show you a very, very, very good animation, okay, produced by our company. So based on this video, you can see about the, the, the quality, the benefit of, the benefit of wood fiber, like this one, keep you warm. And also, wool is anti odor. Very good, okay, to wear wool in summertime. Of course, very good wool keep you very warm, very warm all the time. Okay, finally, okay, back to the modern time, you can see. Okay, Wu is also very good, okay, for sportswear. So that's why, okay, at the end of my presentation, I will tell you one of our very good, uh, one of our global uh, sportswear competition, okay, which is for the, the Woman Performing Talent. Okay. So, okay, the why, why we have to use Wu? Okay, as I said, natural, environmental, uh, responsible. Okay, wool is breathable, make you very cool, very dry all the time. Temperature regu regulation. Okay, not only for wearing in some in winter time, also in summertime as well. Very safe, uh, odor resistant, and very, very easy to take care of it. Okay, and also you can see this uh, very brief video, okay, regarding, okay, you know, the cost section. 
of the wool fiber, a single strand of wool fiber. You can see the scale. You can see a lot of a lot of thing. I don't know. Okay, you can see. Okay, you get the, a lot of filaments. Okay, a lot of like this one. You can see a uh, very long, very long like a spring. So that's why I make the the wool a little bit you know flexible. Okay, so that's why okay wool is very good. Okay, for making white sports wear because of this wonderful quality and also because of the scale okay can keep you very warm uh, breathable all the time and also a little bit water resistant as well okay so who is biodegradable as i said okay based on this very simple chart okay when who is the decomposed the as i said it will natural naturally decompose and so in a matter of months of years and also uh also, you can uh, you can uh, based on this one, you can see okay from farm to sheep to to yarn to garment and all the back to the back to the mother earth. But synthetic fiber on the other hand, okay, well, very slow, okay, to degrade. So that's why it get a lot of impact, okay, to our our and uh, into the world's environmental issue. Okay, this one, as I said, natural wool. Uh, natural, biodegradable, and also renewable. Okay, I don't, I don't repeat here. Okay, so okay, uh, so also this a very, very small uh, display. Okay, uh, telling you, okay, you know, after uh, in terms of the biodegradability. Okay, like this one, you can compare a hundred, hundred percent acrylic and also hundred percent wool. Okay, after three months and six months, you can see. Okay, you can see a junky need jumper okay so one is 100 percent acrylic this another is 100 percent wool after six months time you can see a lot of a lot of fiber okay being decomposed and back to the mother earth okay so you can see a very simple comparison between the wool and synthetic wool is natural okay memory fiber is petroleum based and wool is rec recyclable and most for, for the memory fiber, mostly, okay, for the landfill, okay, where, uh, in other ways, okay. And also wood fiber is reusable and for the memory fiber, we produce a lot of microplastic pollution, okay, to the ocean, okay. And you can see, and also wood is biodegradable, but memory fiber is non-biodegradable, okay. And higher clothing donation way okay and also you can see the memory uh, memory fiber okay require more washing you use more water and also use more energy so a very simple okay uh, to compare about okay the sustain sustainability okay okay so like this one okay as another one telling about the rules uh, proofing from production processing distribution and usage recycling okay and the end of uh, end of life and then back to the mother earth okay so you can see the whole footprint the the recycle of of the merino wool fiber okay so i would like to see another video okay beautiful landscape in in australia so i'm, I'm very lucky you know i went to a few times to 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 australia okay to see the farm processing Seeing the beautiful cues in the window will buy them as well. So as I said, air, very natural. They only consume air, water, and grass. That's it. Okay, so the next topic is regarding is about the properties of merino wool. Okay, so I make it very quick. Okay, first of all, as I said, wool, wool is very comfortable. Uh, we are in terms of warm and dry. Okay, so very okay, like skiing. Okay, in a very cold condition. Okay, natural wool, you know, you know, can give you, you know, uh, very very warm all the time. 
and, and, and this one, okay, I'm showing you, you know, as wood is hygroscopic. Okay, so that's why uh, most uh, uh, wood is, uh, it can, uh, can, can make you more dry. So you can compare this one, okay, the wool, uh, cotton, uh, poly, uh, poly, uh, acrylic, and also polyester. You can see, okay, in terms of the water wave uptake, okay, wool is much better. Okay, so that's why I can keep you dry. Okay, and also uh, uh, based in terms of the uh, the breathability, okay, you based on this very simple uh, chart you can see. It. Okay, like this one, uh, a non wool fabric. Okay, this is the skin, so you can you can accumulate a lot of the moisture vapor. Okay, but when you wear the wool, okay, uh, because the wool having this kind of very wonderful so benefit. Okay, so that's why it can keep you very cool, very dry, a lot of vapor, okay, move, okay, through the fabric. Okay, so that's why I can cool down, okay, the wearer when you go, let's say when you do some sport, okay, so when you wear some of, something like a wool, wool outfit, okay, can keep you dry all the, very easy when compared to, to another synthetic fiber and also cotton. And also this one you can come, you can see about the, uh, the, the comfort issue, okay, because the merino wool fiber, Okay, especially the super fine and ultra fine marine fiber, they bend very easily. So that's why causing very minimal or low skin imitation, okay, to human skin. So that's why you can see, you know, the sticking out fiber, okay, they are, they are curved, okay, very soft, very curved, okay, so that's why very, and also very durable, okay, so you can, you can compare wool with cotton, acrylic, polyester, when being dry or wet, okay, you can see wool is very strong uh, based on the high stress, okay, allow it to absorb, okay, more certain stress, okay, without breaking. Okay, and also soil repellent, okay, uh, uh, because most things are water, okay, so, and also that's why when you wear uh, the wool, okay, uh, the surface free energy of various fiber time, okay, compared with polyester acrylic, okay, we can have very good, okay, soil repellent uh, property. And as I said, okay, the odor management as well. Okay, very, very strong. I like this one is a tax. Okay, like one hour, seven hour. Okay, we can keep you not so strong, okay, in terms of this bad odor, okay? When compared like cotton, polyester, okay, that after like seven hour, okay, you work out in, on a rolling machine, okay, you got a very bad, bad smell. Okay, and also the wrinkle recovery, okay, wool is very good. Okay, so that's why uh, a lot of jack a lot of suit, a lot of suit, okay, using a wrinkle wool fiber, okay, because of the wrinkle recovery is really, really good. Okay, and, and also finally, okay, wool is uh, very easy to take care. So they can be dry clean, hand wash, machine wash, uh, so, so based on, okay, different, uh, the label, okay, so you can, you can wash, okay, your outfit, okay, in after the wear, wearing, okay, and also the UV protection as well, okay, wool is very, very excellent, okay, especially like in Australia, because of the very strong sunshine, okay, the very, uh, the wool, okay, like human hair, okay, can protect you, okay, drain is also very excellent. Okay, so that's why finally, okay, so wool is so good because they're very wonderful in terms of the world's, uh, of the very good quality, very versatile, not only for making the fashion apparel and also like protective apparel, sportswear, upholstery, even like a piano hammering, give you a very good quality in terms of the music, okay? And as I said, okay, the, 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 uh, because of the pandemic, okay, people want better life, better quality of life. Okay, the well-being is very important, okay? And also the floor covering as well, the bedding, a lot of industry as application. So all this kind of, you know, as, as I mentioned before, in terms of the wool benefit, okay, using the merino fiber, okay, you can get it, okay, in terms of different, different usage. Okay, regarding the next topic, okay, that is about the manufacturing of, uh, of the wool. Okay, as I said, okay, uh, this is showing about the shearing, 
okay, one of the Australia's oldest occupation, and also very important, okay, to the formation of the whole union movement, okay, in Australia. Okay, mostly we do the, the shearing take place in very mild temperature month, okay, from March to May to August to November. Okay, and carry out mostly, okay, the shearing once a year, you know, allow the wool to grow back, okay, between the eight shearing, okay, like a human hair. Okay, so let's take a look at this video, okay, so you can see about, you know, the shearing, okay, the shearing of the merino wool fiber. So they are very professional, around five minutes, okay, they can finish one, uh, they can shear one shear. So after the shearing, okay, you know, the expert here, okay, they try to categorize, okay, the different quality of the wool fiber. The expert. Some packaging. And they're ready to ship, okay, for painting, you know, different process. Okay. Okay, at the next topic, okay, I would like to talk about the processing innovation. Okay, so so in on midwear, woven, and also okay, so we got a lot of uh, light sportswear, okay. We try enhancing about the nature, okay, of merino wool fiber. Okay, so uh, we partner with designer brands, retailers to commercialize, okay, a lot of new product line. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, okay, let's see. Okay, so take, uh, I, I make a bigger word quick, okay, regarding, you know, you know, because I'm not the expert on, on this. Okay, like this one, you can see like a sportswear technology, okay, that maximize comfort and performance. So you can see some of the, uh, on niche wear, okay, like a yoga wear, you know, running sportswear, you also, you can see different kind of benefit, okay, such as a very good uh, ones, moisture and management, odor management, very high level uh, electricity, you know, the body contour make your kind of very beautiful shape as well, and also very easy, very, got the freedom to move, okay? And also uh, the seamless, okay, knee construction is also very popular nowadays, okay, using the merino fiber as well, okay, especially, okay, for, make, for making, okay, different kind of, uh, uh, need wear, sport wear as well. Okay, save a lot of waste day of the very, very beautiful, very luxury, you know, merino, merino fiber. And also you can, you can do like a merino socks as well. Okay. And also uh, wood denim, okay, is very important. Okay, so a few a weeks ago, I joined uh, the Hong Kong Denim Festival. Okay, I met with some of the uh, experts, okay, over there, okay, especially the, the, the expert from the Levi's, okay, they, they, they really appreciate using the wool, okay, on uh, jeans wear or any kind of denim, denim item, because as I said, uh, as I mentioned before, you got a lot of benefit, okay, such as the thermal regulating, enhance the comfort, you can wove them with, you know, with different kind of uh, like cotton, uh, uh, linen as well. They are wrinkle resistant and also they enhance the, the, the very good ins insulation like in the winter time, okay? And also the fake fur, okay? The uh, using, uh, using the 100% of renewable wool fiber, okay? So you can create a very natural alternative to animal high and synthetic. Okay, like this one you can, you can see one of the very good designer, okay, from, from the main name China, her name is called Angel Chen. Okay, this is one of her collection, okay, from the International Walmart Prize. Okay, you can see, you know, she is using the merino fiber, okay, to create, okay, something like a beautiful fur. Okay, and also digital printing is also very important, okay, because, uh, Lessening is demand for water, chemical, and also textile waste. So that's why it's very, very good, okay, biodegradable, biodegradable 
uh, uh, material, okay, using the digital printing on the window wall. Wall router, okay, is also very important nowadays, okay, using the router, the law, okay, using the Merino file, you get all this kind of benefit as well. And opt-in technology, okay, this one is very important, I have to mention, okay, because this is the first wind and water resistant fabric, okay, made for 100% Australian Merino wool fiber. Okay, I will talk more about this one because of this very wonderful innovation, which is called opt-in. Okay, like this one, you can see one of the very, very famous uh, you know, surfboarding brand in Australia, this is 100% uh, merino, Australian merino fiber, okay, using this kind of opt-in technology. Breading, food wool fill as well, okay. And of course, nowadays, okay, a lot of brand using merino fiber, okay, on footwear. Okay, like this one, okay, one of the very, uh, using one of the very, very, uh, our very close partner, okay, which is called the AVL, okay, using, develop this wonderful collection, okay, using 100% Merino wool fiber. I met him, okay. I met them, okay, uh, uh, one or two years ago in Hong Kong, okay. They really, really love, okay. When you're using, okay, the, the Merino wool fiber, okay, you got all this kind of benefit property, okay, such as uh, being promoted dryness, breathability, freshness, anti odor, comfort, and warm as well, okay. Need warm, okay. So this is one of the brand from Hong Kong. Okay, doing a lot of beautiful masks using uh, merino wool fiber, uh, using the self heating technology. So you can see this is the website of the lead warm. Okay, you can check yourself. Okay, after my presentation, uh, and also use for bonding as well. Okay, for protection, and also this one I have to mention. Okay, because using the NFC, the near field communication, some kind, something like a chip. Okay, so. So you can see the whole journey. Okay, something like a storytelling about, you know, the whole journey of the Merino fiber. Okay, from farm to consumer. Okay, so you can see based on this MFC chip. Okay, so you can using your iPhone to scan it. Okay, you know about the whole whole journey. Okay, you know, of the Merino fiber, where, where, the, where the fiber from, where it produced, who is the designer, something like this. Okay, so, but, uh, so let's talk about another topic, okay, regarding the partnership of the Walmart company. We have a lot, okay, like this one, okay, very important project, we just call it Dark Eyes Project. Okay, so this is about three explorers, okay. He, they embarked on a journey to one of the world's most hostile environment, okay, which is the South Pole. Okay, they're gathering a lot of the effect of the microplastic in the earth, uh, ice pack. So that's why they have to work with uh, uh, some expert, okay, like uh, besides the Wuba company, also the editors by Boa and also the Gortes to develop, okay, beautiful Marina Wu garment, okay. So that's why you can see all this benefit, okay. So let me show you a very short video, okay, regarding. Uh, this wonderful project, okay, about uh, the Dark Eyes uh, project. Thank you. 
So this is amazing. Okay, and then we got like we got another project. Okay, lately, okay, we work with Luna Rosa Prada uh, Pialy. Okay, so so uh, let me show you the video. I think it will be better. Okay, like this one, you can see. Okay, you know, a uh, very one of the very important raising competition. Okay, in the world, so you can see. You know, we work, we create wonderful. Uh, Robert Crowder, okay, the wonderful Marino Rugana, okay, for this amazing uh, competition. So you can see all the all the quality based on this video, okay, how amazing okay the garment is. Okay. Okay, and now we have a lot of a lot of partners, a lot of collaboration like this one. Another one, Lakata. Lakata is uh, you, uh, using a lot of merino in the in the you know on the uh, uh, yoga collection. Okay, and also this one. Okay, so I don't have to. I, I'm sure you know you know Rob Simon. Okay, as I said as I said before. Okay, uh, collaborate. With with us, okay, develop beautiful collection, okay, on marina wool, okay, like this one you can see in one of the very uh, prestigious uh, retailer in, in in Tokyo, Dover Street Market, okay, you know, displaying, you know, this collection as well, okay, and then uh, this is the one I mentioned about the outer loan, okay, using the optin fiber, okay, so uh, and, and let me show another video, okay, on this amazing optin technology. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is John Moore. I am co-founder and creative director of Outer Dome. And in my hands is the world's first 100% Australian merino wool trunk called the Wooloo. Believe it or not, wool's been part of surfing's heritage since the earliest days of our sport, like forefathers like George Free, Duke Hanapoku or one piece woolen tank suits before we had trunks and other innovation to keep them warm in the cool water or cool in warm weather. For all these same reasons, we thought it could make for a pretty killer trunk today. Wool is naturally temperature regulating quite a bunch of times and you won't see. Second, you wear them in the water and start to move. They sort of mold to the shape of your body and your mood. The best part about the Wolleroos is they won't shed harmful microfibers in the sea like a lot of synthetic trunks do. You know, that's really important to us at Out and Out is the health of the ocean and the environment. We just love the fact that bringing wool into the trunks category is something that's quite revolutionary. World's first 100% Australian Reno Wool trunk. A trunk that's built to last. Okay. We another one, the Jack Mills, okay, one of the very, very creative designer, okay, from Paris, you know, you know, work, you know, uh, very beautiful. Collection, okay. The latest wear, especially, okay. This is, you can see. Uh, this collection is for the spring summer, okay. You can see, you know, very, you know, very light collection, okay. Based on this video, okay, you can see. I really love this video, okay, by the Jacko Mills, okay. You can see, uh, you know, you know, you know, quality, the fineness of the merino fiber, you know, how amazing it is, okay. Like wearing, you know, the, the spring summer time.
As you can see, you know, based on this video, okay, they, all the garment is very soft, very light, very comfortable. It is amazing. Okay, make you make the make all the girls very very feminine, very sexy, very easy to move. So this is really amazing. Okay. Okay, so make it very quick. Okay, this is another one we we work with Adidas, and 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 also we were also partnered with Farfetch. Okay, online luxury online retail platform, uh, promoting the winter two thousand twenty or the, the bags who apparel. Okay, so that's why you can see uh, like the increase in surge of wool hundred percent, one to sixty five percent. Okay. Uh, uh, the, 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 the display media impression, okay, so, if, you know, very big lumber, okay? And, and this is another, okay, I'm, the one I mentioned before, okay, using the merino fiber on, on, uh, on, marine, uh, on sneaker, okay, the APL. Okay, and then the next one, okay, I would, uh, I would like to say, I would like to uh, uh, introduce you a very, very important platform, which is called the Walmart Learning Center. As I said before, this is the online learning center, okay, which is free of charge. I'll take a look at this video. So you can see this, we got a lot of amazing modules, a lot of amazing courses, okay, on Marino Wool Fiber. This is not only for students, Okay, also for teacher, for trade, for designer. Okay, based on okay, any anytime, anywhere, you got the computer, you got your iPhone, you got the Wi-Fi, you can study. Okay, different topic on the window fiber. Okay, so uh, the last one, okay, I would like to introduce especially to the young designer, okay, from uh, the young design student, okay, from Hong Kong Polytechnic University, okay, which is called the Warm Up Performance Challenge. Okay, this year, okay, we got the topic about the pushing the boundary of product innovation. Okay, so this is a an annual competition, okay, for for all the young these the created this uh, thinker to develop a very innovative forward thinking product solution for the sportswear and also for the performance market. Okay, so. Uh, so this year, okay, to 2021, this challenge, okay, after the first one, okay, we worked with Adidas, the second one, we worked with uh, uh, the Hanson Carrier, okay, the next one, okay, this year, okay, the 2021, okay, we are going to partner with uh, two, two brands. One is called the Sour, okay, and the other one is Own. okay, we work together with them to promote the new natural product solution, okay, for the the, for the performance sportswear industry. Okay, so we got in the prize. Okay, this year, okay, so you can see, okay, we got the three prizes. Okay, the internship, okay, for the on running. Another is uh, the three month pay internship, okay, for uh, with uh, Sarah, okay, for, uh, so you can pick the gap categories, okay. So, like one of the design students, let's say, for, for, from Polytechnic University. Okay, so so when you when you when you when you when you win it, okay, you got the free three month pay internship. Okay, it's all paid by on running, also by Sarah, and also we got also we got the research bursary. Okay, like uh, ten thousand pound cash pound. Okay, to the best research uh, proposal. Okay, so regarding the the eligibility criteria, okay, very easy. Okay, for for. This is not for the industry, okay? This is for, for, for all the tertiary education, okay? If uh, uh, open to all students, both undergraduate and postgraduate level, okay? So uh, as I said, okay, it's, so very easy to participate because uh, uh, 
uh, once okay the, the university you know complete the registration okay the designer can download the uh, and also you can get uh, you you have to finish okay the our online learning uh, woman learning center okay and also you develop your 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 whole concept okay and then all you have to do is submit submit the woman performance challenge okay by 17th of May and then the finalist will be announced okay in August 2021. Okay, so uh, uh, with this year, as I, as I mentioned, we got two, two categories. One is the ON. Okay, ON is very famous, okay, for running. So that's why you can see all the key works. Okay, so that will inspire your work, okay, such as NG Marino, NG Marino, Future Wood, Durability, Hybrid Use, so on and so on. Okay, another one is, uh, another one is the, the Sarah. Okay, Sarah is a very famous brand for ski and mountaineering. Okay, so when you got an idea, okay, like doing, you know, uh, this category, okay, so this is a very amazing, okay, category for 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 designer, okay, design student to John, okay, for all the all the submission, okay, all you have to do, you have to feature a minimum of fifty percent of winner wolf, okay, with the whole concept, okay, so you don't have to make a full fully redress, uh, realize a, a garment, only the concept, okay, and. And then you have to submit, okay, uh, submit. Uh, of course, you have to upload all the, all, all the uh, you know, the whole, the, all the information, okay? So not, not more than seven megabytes. And then you have to, uh, of course, in English as well. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and, and you have to develop a sketch, photo, based on the idea page your background research, inspiration, idea development, and also your, your background as well. Okay, and then we will select the, the, the trial finalists, and then and then we got the final judging event, okay, and the pick, as I mentioned, okay, the best grades, okay, one for own, one is for Sarah, and also the bursary, okay, from the woman can, company. Okay, and then this is a little bit, okay, more information regarding the judging criteria. Okay, but based on 50 points, based on, okay, okay, sorry. Okay, based on, okay, the 50 point, okay, okay. So like 10 point for overall concept, 10 point for research and inspiration, 10 point from ID development, 10 point in developed potential, and tampon that is for the for, for the presentation. So a little bit more of the program timeline. Okay, this, as I said, 17 May. Okay, that will be the deadline. Okay, for student submission. Okay, and then so it's still got a, a, a two a two or three ways. Okay, for design for designer. Okay, to develop. Okay, this for uh for subject. Okay, regarding as I said, idea page background research, inspiration, idea development, and also a little bit about yourself, okay? And finally, finally, okay, so regarding the property why, okay? So, so the Wuma company, okay, uh, so regarding the, 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 the property why, okay, the winning designer, the, or the, the, any designer, all the student, or, or any student, they own, their own IP, uh, the property right of the of their individual of individual idea. Okay, so they can do they can free to do whatever they wish. Okay, with the uh, property right and also and also the work. Okay, so if the, let's say the designer agree or the winner agrees to sell. Okay, they just talk directly to 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 own or sell. Okay, so the last thing I would like to highlight here, which is called the wallet. Okay, so this is the one. So this is before the pandemic. Okay, we got the, the physical, you know, book. Okay, regarding you know all the beautiful beautiful material. Okay, regarding Wulab. Wulab is a very important source. Okay, for designer. Okay, as I said. Okay, we work with a lot of spinner, the weaver. Okay, we hope the designer get inspired after the Wulab. Okay, so because of the pandemic. Okay, so this is the first year. So we develop. Okay, the the digital will up here. Okay, so very easy based on this uh, website. Okay, just log in, register. Okay, you can source, 
you can browse more than 300 fabric. You can find a lot of textile innovation. More, and very important, you can connect with the suppliers. Okay, let's say, okay, like any designer or any brand, they find very good material based on this source wool portal. So they can connect with our, our, our supplier globally. Okay, so finally, okay, before I, before I finish my presentation, I would like to show you this very beautiful video, okay, developed by the Walmart company about the future, yeah. I don't want to be like this, to be honest. Very beautiful, but very sad, yeah. Okay, a, a world full of very, a lot of sympathetic material. Okay, so so laughing, okay, I would like to say laughing is waste in nature. Waste is a man-made design flaw. Okay, so before, uh, thank you so much. Okay, before I finish my presentation, okay, there's uh, some time for the Q&A. Okay, and also uh, uh, maybe some of them miss, okay, my, my, my the, the beginning part of my presentation. You can see the, the, the QR code here. Please scan it, stay tuned, keep in touch. Okay, so anything about, you know, our, our the Walmart company and also our, 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 our development. Feel free to, to keep in touch, okay? So I, we hope, okay, we can answer your question, okay, regarding the merino wool fiber. Yeah.